Welcome, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith. Alan, looking forward to it today. Yeah, I think so, Martin. There's a really good buzz in the air here. I'm here for you today, Juventus, and they are up against Borussia Dortmund. What is up ladies, Leon Trotsky here bringing you some FIFA 13 demo gameplay. Oh yeah, best sports game ever. You can argue with me in the comments below, it's better than Madden, better than NHL, better than any M MLB, NBA, tennis, whatever you want to play, pool, so I don't even know. I don't even know any of the rugby, I don't even know any of the sports games. This is the best one guys, and I do play a lot of sports games, or at least I used to. I started picking up no, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, we're playing here. I left a little intro commentary from whoever it is, Andy Gray. The commentary is actually pretty good in this game, so let's give you some first... some Before I give you impressions, I want to let you guys know I'm going to bring a lot of other games to my channel coming up soon. Borderlands 2 is coming out. I'm renting uh, F1 2012, so if you guys want to see any gameplay of that, let me know. I'll be uh, down to bring some gameplay. I download the demo for that. It's pretty fun stuff if you like racing games. Obviously, FIFA 13 comes out a week from Tuesday, so that's going to be a blast. Um, FIFA Ultimate Team, bring a lot of new stuff. Obviously, we'll stick with Battlefield. If you guys think, let me know. I've been thinking about maybe doing a new channel, completely separate, different games and stuff like that. Let me know if you think that'd be a good idea. I could put a bunch of other stuff on that channel and then keep my main channel as, as just Battlefield. So let me know in the comments below what you think about that. Let's talk about gameplay stuff, guys. This game is awesome. They did put a new like physics impact player engine. Something I don't know. FIFA changes their shit up every year and it makes it better. Last year, they did some weird stuff with defense and it actually makes the game a lot harder and they still stuck with the same defensive scheme you don't want to get too aggressive on defense it's a big thing you want to be able to keep your formation you don't want to over anticipate and you know whatever's it i don't even know the proper football terms for it but the uh, you don't want to basically be over aggressive on defense you don't want to call too many players drag people out of position stuff like that you really got to be careful about when you go for tackles because it's really easy to get beat and it seems like the computer got a lot smarter i'm not sure if it's just because they increased obviously they increased you know some player ai defensive ai they increased attacking ai so you get better play uh better attacking player making runs and stuff like that but the the play on the ball and just the the way that the players interact with each other impact stuff like that they still have the you know the, the mash b tackle from behind button where you try and grab them and stuff like that there's just a lot of good stuff in this game that they got right and i still stand by my word that this is the best sports game on the market and it doesn't have to do necessarily with you know what's most popular it's just the most fun to play and it might just be for me because i have played fifa for quite a while but they do new improvements every every year. They have great game modes. That's the other big thing. You know, when I played Madden, I did rent Madden this year, and I played a little bit, and it was fun. Like, I like Madden. I like watching football. I like football, American football, as well as, you know, international soccer football. But there's something about, you know, Madden, you can play online, maybe. They got the new Ultimate Team. But FIFA has so many game modes that are just a blast to play. They have the Virtual Be a Pro. You can play 11 vs. 11 online. They got Ultimate Team. They got an awesome Season Mode, Career Mode, all the fun stuff. Of course, they have online seasons, which is awesome. You can, like, rank up in your uh, rank in... I forget how they put it in here. Basically, you get relegated, and you got to move up in divisions and stuff like that. You can win cups and championships and all sorts of just fun, awesome game modes. The online gameplay in this, obviously, I haven't played FIFA 13 online because it hasn't come out yet. But FIFA 12 online has always been good. FIFA 13, I'm assuming, is still going to be good. It's just a good all-around sports game. And it is, I believe, the largest selling sports game on the EA does, at least. I believe the largest selling sports game on the market because, obviously, soccer is an international sport. It is very popular worldwide. And, you know, we talk to people in the U.S. that are obviously Madden fans. Mm, another go! They still got the awesome, uh, whatever it is, the awesome little celebrations and stuff. So I always do the one where you go grab the ball out of the back of the net and go put it back up there. But like I was saying, you guys, Madden obviously is popular in the United States, but elsewhere in the world, it seems like everybody plays FIFA. And I used to play FIFA back in the day for a long time with a lot of friends and stuff like that. We used to, it's still a blast to play when you're playing, you know, sitting with somebody on the couch and getting arguments and yelling and screaming. And, you know, the 2v2s, we used to do 2v2 tournaments online when I was in college or offline, obviously, when I was in college, it was good times. But, you know, FIFA, it's there's something about 
the intricacies of it. Like I've said this before, I feel like I've done another FIFA commentary, probably for FIFA 12. And what I always say is that this game can be played on many different levels. There is obviously the basic tactics of this game, the pass, shoot, lob, pass, cross, stuff like that. But then there's the really intricacies of this game, the defensive movements, you know, being able to control the ball, slowing down with the, the pace control, skills, skill sticks, stuff like that. There's so many little things going on that, you know, advanced players are like, amazing at this game and i believe we're playing the demo i'm playing the demo on the difficulty like the medium intermediate difficulty because i hadn't played fifa in a while and i was having a hard time um i don't know if it was the increased uh, intelligence of the players and stuff like that or what but it feels that i've always felt this way is on the higher difficulties on fifa it is very hard to get the ball off of the computer uh defensively wise and attacking you just got to be careful i always do slow passes and stuff like that but this game is the best sports game. They increase, they make it better every year. They got the awesome, the balls bouncing around like crazy. Everything's really in tune to the way the players are standing, the way the players, like, uh, if they have balance or not, it determines whether or not it's going to be a good shot or a good pass or whatever it may be. So, you know, let me know as you break down this gameplay if you guys think I'm screwing up at certain things and give me some FIFA tips because sometimes I might need them. But I will be bringing a lot of FIFA 13 gameplay so you can stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't tried it, you know, check out the demo. It's in the marketplace. It's totally free. It's fun to play. Three-minute halves. You've got a bunch of different teams. Um, so, you know, it's worth checking out if you guys have never played a FIFA game before. Obviously, there is a large learning curve above the basic basic knowledge of the game. So, you know, don't 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 feel like you're just going to jump in there and just own it up because it is a more difficult game than it seems. Also, I want to point out real quick uh, the, the camera angle that I'm using. I use this camera angle for basically when I record gameplay because it, it, it's a little harder to play on. This is the dynamic camera, camera angle. Whenever I play, however, I usually play on the tele broadcast camera angle. It's a little scooted further back type of thing but i feel for gameplay wise this makes a little bit better gameplay you can see kind of what's going on with the players as opposed to what's going on with the formation build up and stuff like that but gameplay is winding down here guys so like i said if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see games i got a lot of new games coming up i will be bringing you fifa 13 gameplay i have already pre-ordered it borderlands 2 gameplay coming up this week also maybe some f1 2012 if you want to see it um, other games down the road coming up next few months are gonna be crazy for games guys a lot of stuff coming up So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you want to see should I do this on a separate channel do other games on a separate channel and keep Leon Trotsky is uh, Strictly battlefield. Let me know what you guys thoughts on that and I will leave it with uh, who is it? And I don't even know Andy Gray Stephen McNabb. Maybe I'm just making those names up, but I'll let them take you out till next time And the referee blows the whistle for the last time Pleased to win the match, I guess, because uh, that's what you do whenever you play. But as a friendly game, more than just a result. I think so. They'll take a lot of heart from that because uh, not only did they win, but they played well along the way. Great game. It's been a great experience for Alan Smith and myself to broadcast it to you. Until the next time, from both of us, a very good night to you all.